Shadow of Judgment. Hello. How are you today? We're doing Shadow of Judgment today. We're going to see which one we're doing. We already did the Earth Signs. This is the next row. What is Shadow of Judgment, you might be asking? Shadow of Judgment is where we look at the underlying currents, the things that happen beneath the dark. Um, things you subconsciously know but don't really know or are... Or, 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 oh my god, if I could talk. Things that you are unaware of in the background. On a conscious level, not subconscious. It's right there, you just don't realize it. Think of it as like little nooks and crannies, hidden alleyways on the map of tarot. Right? Right. Water signs. You're next. I swear, this is the same order as last time. I'm going to be a little bit freaked out. Just saying. Cancer, you're up first. Let's see what's going on with your shadow for this week. Oh, water signs. This is for sun, moon, rising, and Venus. I'll go ahead and thank you ahead of time for watching this video. If this resonates with you, good deal. If not, do not worry about it because it's, it is just a card game. Right? Right. So, Cancer, you are up first. Let's see what's going on with your shadow. What cards are going to be brought out? Fairness. Possibly dealing with Libra. Six of Pentacles. Feeling like you're not getting what you deserve a little bit? What are your options are dealing with that as well? That's the motives for your shadow so far. I want more! You know. <laughs> I'm sorry. Like, that just came out of nowhere. I don't know why I was thinking of, like, Oliver Twist wanting more. Oh! Hmm. Cancer. Alright, look it, right? This doesn't have to be you. There are cross-watchers all alike, right? But, I'm just saying, but, it looks like somebody looked over options and decided, fuck it, I don't want those options. I want the money, you know? Which is very odd for you, but whatever. Oh, definitely involved with a relationship. What is this? This is a weird one, Cancer, but, you know, it happens. Let's see what you're doing with yourself. Oh! Uh, some circ... Blah. Oh my god, I cannot talk today, I swear. Some cycle completed itself right here with the world. Very much Saturn energy, a karmic card. And you walked away to better things to recover your heart. Okay, this is a really good one so far. Look at that, Cancer. I should have grabbed my water. Um, but you're juggling your options. Two seconds. I'm going to go grab my water bottle. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. I am just super thirsty today. Well, I'm, I'm a thirsty bitch, so it makes sense. But still, I'm particularly parched on this very good eve. <laughs> okay, let's continue. Yeah, okay, so you're looking at your options, right? Right. Why are you looking at options? You have love. Oh. Mmm. I got this feeling, <laughs> look at right, I've known quite a few cancers in my day. You guys can pull booty like nobody's business. I don't know what it is about y'all, but you all have suitors. You always have options, but I feel like looking at this Knight of Wands is like my um, booty call dude, okay? Sometimes... He means someone's run into some booty, and it's like you're looking at this cycle complete, be like, hmm, who on my circle list can I call up next to deliver my sweet, sweet loving from, okay? <laughs> like, I'm just putting that out there. Oh, look it. All right. Oh, wait, is that you, Cancer? Is someone trying to... 
either you're trying to recover from somebody who you probably got a booty call with, or you're trying to recover for yourself. Trying to figure out what, emo what emotions should be um, dealt with accordingly. Ooh, something about a bad offer. All right. I can't, sir. What am I looking at right here? What did you get yourselves into this time, you silly, silly geese? Oh my goodness. I love you guys, I swear to God. It's always so interesting when you guys are around. All right, so look at right. I really feel like this is somebody, if this isn't you, this is someone you're dealing with, but somebody, um, I feel like really left this situation with somebody else to fix themselves, but in doing so, they ended up in a relationship right here. But it's like they're struggling with some sort of decision when it comes to themselves and some of them back here. It's like, mm, and it, it, it's looking like whatever this choice is, run for the door. Whoever it is, run for the door. You know, I, I don't know why, Cancer, but it feels like either you or a person you are dealing with is um, not making the best choices to, when it comes to relationships. Because over here, it's like someone's still looking at their options to get booty from around the block. So it's just kind of like... It's like, like someone's going to ride in at the end of a cycle, maybe, or this person is looking at how they can interject themselves into this new beginning for you, but it's like, whatever this is, is just going to lead to someone needing to run out the door. You aren't even looking at the door. You're too busy paying attention to Booty Call Man on his horses galloping in with his giant phallic stick, being like, hey, I am here to pleasure your means but there, there's no bridge to cross so it's just kind of like you're sitting over here like um i'm in the water and you're in a desert i can come all the way over there to say the word like i got I, I have a netflix account let's chill i'll even bring cookies what kind of cookies <laughs> you know but that's your shadow of judgment cancer so be careful i feel like of any offers here especially i think financial ones because it's gonna like I think, I don't know, maybe you'll end up accidentally, like, paying too much for something when you get in a relationship, or maybe someone will expect you to take care of them financially. Definitely watch out for that, because it's making you think about how you're going to handle things. Don't accept cookies from this guy. It's over. It's done. That's your shadow of judgment, Cancer. Okay? Pisces, oh no, not Pisces, Scorpio. It is now your shadow of judgment, darling. Let's see what we are doing for you today. Honestly, Cancer, I wouldn't blame you because if someone had cookies, I'd let them in my house. I really would. <laughs> Alright, Scorpio, let's see what your shadow of judgment is, my darling. this week. Oh yeah, the week is like from now till the 28th. My bad. Um, let's see. We got somebody waiting. You're waiting, or the person you're dealing with is waiting. Cross-watchers alike, of course. And the judgment card. This is kind of crooked in the camera. No, that's worse. Okay, that's not bad. But that table. Ugh. Oh, I, I can see the triangle on my table. And it's just... Mm. One of these, I'm actually going to get, like, an actual thing to lay on my table so I can do this. Because it's basically become my altar now. Somehow. My Like, me and my husband have just accepted this, but that's okay. I actually need to clean it off. I don't know why I keep getting stuff all over it. I need to stop worrying about stuff in my house and worry about your reading. My apologies. So someone's waiting on... Someone's waiting on a bad judgment call? What? That's kind of confusing, but okay. Um, okay, they've made a decision to wait. Because not waiting might be a bad judgment call. Okay, I got it. I got it. I got you now. Um... 
someone might be on the move or waiting to be on the move with the Knight of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Um, someone is still juggling their options with their bad judgment call, though. Something about commitment or a Taurus in this right here. A Hierophant. Could also mean there are things still unknown to you, and that's possibly why Scorpio and Crosswatcher alike. Um, you've made the decision to wait it out, I feel like. Oh, someone feels like they need to take a break because they've been battling since back in the day. It's just like, you know what? I'm waiting. I've done all of this battling before. I, I just need to rest. I need to recover. It's too much. Jesus, did this all go on the floor? Mm. Queen of Wands, Reverse, Leo. God, Aries, Sagittarius. I don't know, I just forgot. <laughs> My bad. Oops. Okay, you don't have a kind of bridge either for this one, Scorpio, but there's nothing wrong with that. It just means that, like, this is a, kind of an outstanding point of view as well. Like, uh, it's a part of the issue, but it's a separate thing. So, you have this energy, and Crosswatchers alike, of course. You guys might be having this energy where um, you're just sitting there waiting, and you're ready to ride in the battle for this, but right now you're in this kind of feeling of recovery because there's... Yeah, like, you've decided to take this waiting position. When it comes to a commitment or relationship, because you still don't know how things are going to come out, the two fingers signify that with the Hierophant. Also, possibly an authority figure with the family as well. The head person. You might be delegating with the people who you go to church with and all that jazz. And there's a significance with this, because... There's a lot invested in your home. Um, you love your home very greatly. But over here, you decided against some bad judgment call to resurrect something. Like, I think you decided not to start something new, but you're still looking at what you can do with this Queen of Wands, who is totally bitching about what happened, I think, with the house. I'm not sure, because this is like home setting, completion. Nobody's wanting for anything. But she's mad. Like, there's something about this house that just went all wrong. She's in total bitch mode, being like, I want it, and I want it now. And I think that's why you're kind of deciding not to go back to this, and you're running to something different. You're going to, coming out of this observation and introspection with this whole spiel. Right? But that's your shadow of uh, judgment, Scorpio. Interesting. Pisces. Ew. Look at you come for some truth. Keep in a distance with your emotions. I don't blame you. It's been a hectic time. So let's see. What is your shadow of judgment, Pisces? Ew, you got the judgment card too. Possibly not trying to resurrect something. Because it was a burden. Um, quick paced action. Someone was being a dick. This was not a good relationship. A ton of mind games where he just worked against somebody and caused possibly you to walk away. You weren't into that shit. I already know you guys are not a Like, you play mind games, but it pisses you off once you realize the person might be smarter than you. Like, you guys look at the opposite sides of everything. You always say the other sides of stuff. Y'all are scary people when you fight, too. Like, as you go all in, you don't even think about it. Mmm. Yeah, you definitely were getting away from somebody who was bringing out the worst in you. I feel like.
and you've been keeping your guard up against their shit for a while. Holy fuck. Yeah, you guys have been messing with someone, or someone's been trying to mess with you since, like, last year. I was talking about sabotage and betrayal and all that crap when I was talking to you guys last year. Which is kind of crazy, because, like, recently I think I told you guys that they've been trying some crazy mojo magic stuff or whatever on you guys and I think that is the weirdest thing for anybody to do for whatever reason because it's just kind of like I don't know how um no let's see this and this hmm I see yeah, you're definitely trying to get away from this person, like, like, whoever this was, I feel like you were really close to, but they were a total control freak, and that's why he, it, it's just like, no, we're not getting back together, ever. They asked you about it, you were like, no, and you were just like, I'm done. Just tired of their shit, man. There's no waiting period in this. It's like, and they and they want and they are gonna come quick probably with their shit. Oh crap, baskets. Two seconds. But yeah, like these people are coming in with a swiftness. That's like you're definitely keeping guard again. Like, these people really nettle your kettle. Um, and you know that it's a burden to stay in this, like, really bad, shitty relationship because, like, it does make you unhappy. Like, look, it leaves you unsatisfied and it does leave you happy, and you're definitely not waiting on this. So that's your shadow judgment, Pisces. Um, thank you all for watching my video. Please like, share, and subscribe if that's what you want to do. No pressure, of course. Um, if you want a personal reading, my email is down in the description box below. I don't charge, but I do take tips and donations. My PayPal's there as well. Hope you guys have a beautiful day. Love your faces. Bye-bye.